Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taster of whiskey.com and today we have a whiskey from a brand new distillery. The Lakes Distillery is located, no, not in Scotland, it's located in England, but in northern England, just 25 miles away from Carlisle, which is the border town to Scotland. The Lakes Distillery was brought into production in 2014, and prior to that, they had a three-year planning and construction phase, and they invested nine million pounds in that enterprise and the first whiskey ran out of the casks, uh, into the casks, ran out of the stills uh, in 2014 and came out of the cask in 2017. And the first 101 bottles were auctioned and the uh, it was the highest price which was uh, sold for an English whiskey above 8,000 pounds, 8,800 pounds for a single bottle and all the bottles in average had I think a thousand pounds. Then there had been a second series of uh, the first uh, carried the name Genesis, yeah, old uh, Greek for birth, beginning, and the next which came out were the Quatrefold, I think, foil, quatrefoil collection with four uh, bottles, which cost uh, 895 pounds. So they were as well not widely available. And this one, the Whiskey Makers Reserve number two, is from my point of view the first uh, single malt whiskey from that distillery which is widely available. There's another one, but that's still a blended whiskey. Uh, and this one, I think, is the first single malt whiskey from the Lakes Distillery. Uh, it's priced a little bit about 60 euros, dollars, pounds. It's cast strength at a 60.9. It's uncolored, non-chill filtered, and English. Yeah, so here we go. It's a massive bottle, uh, has a uh, quatrefoil uh, square shape at the bottom and round on the top. So this is an individual bottle. Faith, hope, luck and love. Yeah. Mm -hmm. is an intense and robust expression matured in the finest matriarchally sourced Pedro Jimenez red wine and bourbon cast. The nose is rich and complex with dry fruits and trickle creamy layers of wood spice and comforting vanilla on the palate and a long luxurious finish. Yeah. Where's the opening? Here it is. <clears throat> so this bottle is heavy. It's massive. It shows value. Fruity, juicy, fresh. Smells in the first like a space hider. Sixty point nine, so I will add water, but first have a sniff on it. There's a intense alcoholic note on it. Then there is fruitiness, juiciness, sherry note, faint spiciness, not much, a lot of alcohol, yeah, 60.9. Sultanas. Drier and darker than expected. Yeah, definitely. So, just a little water. Just to bring it down to 50. Doesn't mix very well, that's normal. 
see all those legs coming down the glass. Mm-hmm, a lot fruitier. Juicy, fresh, sweet syrup. Comfortable. Sippin', yeah. Cheers. Mm -hmm. A little bit oily. Mm. Younger, yes. <laughs> so there's a cladding in my mouth. A little metallic note in it. Spiciness coming up. Still oily, creamy. So this one is still young, definitely. But it shows a, a very good selection of casks. There's a very good added maturation. But the subtraction of the unwanted aromas isn't there. Not, not yet. Yeah, this one is expected, as young as expected, but it's very good for the age it has uh, due to a very good cast selection. But I think adding a few more years will help that whiskey a lot. And then I think the whiskey will be quite good and it's well done. Yeah, so they know how to make whiskey, but they still need some time. Uh, to get it up to the top. That's all for today. Thank you very much for watching.